Hey everyone, Presito here. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking more about base chain, all the hype around it, some information you should know, especially with regards to bridges, especially bridging from base to Ethereum, since I see many people aren't aware that they are actually working bridges at the moment. And then I'm also going to be covering the airdrop steps that you need to take. I'm going to be covering it very simply and straightforward so you can easily do that. And if they do have a token, you can be eligible for it. And keep in mind, they did say that there won't be a token, but this has uh, been said by other projects in similar situations. And then they did end up having uh, tokens. And also just having an airdrop would make sense for Coinbase's Alto Chain, which is base, because it would bootstrap a strong community. It would create a lot of volume and strong holders and so on. So it just makes sense for them to have a token and it's really easy to do the steps. So it's always worthwhile. Uh, to do this so just some more information on base on the 23rd of february they actually announced a testnet launch of the network and their main goal is to offer a secure low cost and developer friendly way for anyone to build decentralized apps on chain and it's going to be connected to optimism network as part of the upcoming super chain that they want to have and they really want to bring the masses and if anyone's going to do it obviously it's going to be coinbase so you definitely should be looking into base chain and figuring out how it works, uh, bridging to it and trying the steps to do the airdrop. It's always worthwhile. As you know, there's also been quite a lot of FUD actually on the chain with the uh, bold token rugging that wasn't actually affiliated to Coinbase. But people are a bit scared at the moment, but you really shouldn't be because there's definitely an opportunity to try to take advantage of. So let's talk about the public launch that uh, Coinbase just announced. They say here they set the public launch of base layer to blockchain for next week. Official launch date, August 9th. So that is in five days time. So it's definitely important, I would say, to do the drop steps before then. Even after then, you could do it as uh, it's not confirmed whether they're going to release a token on launch or not. And you can see even without the official launch, over $68 million worth of Ethereum was already bridged last weekend which is insane numbers so you can see the hype is definitely there then before i get to the airdrop steps let me just show you two bridges which are actually working perfectly fine at the moment there's orbiter bridge which is a really pro bridge and there's synapse protocol as well as you can see base to ethereum i actually uh, used synapse bridge recently and it worked perfectly fine it does take maybe 15 minutes or so for it to be bridged over but it works 100 percent. so if you're looking for that here's your answers so anyways, let's start off with the airdrop tasks in order to be eligible if they do have an airdrop. First thing and most important thing is to use their official bridge, which is sending Ethereum to this wallet. And yes, it does seem dodgy, but that is actually the way to do it. You just send Ethereum here and it will pop up on your base MetaMask address. So I would recommend just testing it out with 0.01 Ethereum or whatever, uh, just to be 100% sure. That's what I did just to be safe. And you'll see you'll receive it within 10 minutes or so. Then next up, I'd also recommend using the other bridges like Synapse and Orbiter. Can't go wrong using them too. Just bridging back and forth. And remember, the more volume you have, I would say the more likely you are to get an airdrop. So this covers the steps of bridging, which is always very important. I would say the most important part when farming airdrops. But the next step we are going to do is actually quite an interesting one, but it's definitely worth to do. So you need to go to this address and I'll leave the steps to this in the description. You go to this address, connect your wallet, then you just click sign message, MetaMask, and you just click OK here. It'll show your address and message to sign. You're just going to type in that all your base are belong to you. Just uh, do that. You click on sign message, sign in your wallet and publish and just copy your signature hash before publishing but you can just copy it here anyways so you publish that and you can see here message signature verified so that step is also done the next step you want to do is to go to this address and you'll want to mint this uh, genesis nft so you will have to connect your wallet of course so just connect like that to the same wallet that you uh, verified that signature with then what you'll want to do is go write contract mint and here you can see signature it's asking that signature that you copied from before you just paste that there and then you write then you can see here pop up with a uh, transaction in your metamask and you just confirm that 
And there we go. That's uh, the next step done in minting the Genesis NFT. So simple as that. So now let's move to the next step, which is minting another NFT. This is official Coinbase NFT. Here's the link to it. You just want to go here, just choose one and you click mint over here. And we're just going to confirm that mint as well. So that's also done. Then next up, we will mint here as well. And I'm pretty sure this is the same NFT, but it's a different link. And the more you interact with it, the better. So mint here. It's a free mint, of course. You can see it's 45 cents. So it's worthwhile doing confirm that. And there we go. We've minted with that too. And lastly, what I would recommend is to join their guild on guild.xyz and also on layer3.xyz they have some tasks which you can complete you can see there's only 8300 participants on this so it's not really likely that these will be requirements but if you are really keen on being 100 percent sure you're going to get that airdrop if there is one these are worth doing and these are all really straightforward and uh, kind of speak for themselves in terms of the, the tasks you need to do so i'm not going to go through everything but for base guild you just need to join guild to get your roles connect your wallet and you have different roles on discord which you need to do various tasks to get for example verified member you need to follow them on twitter to be a base max you need to uh, follow them and coinbase on twitter and then the shadow super uh, coder, you need to give a saw on their repository. Uh, both of these ones, day one adopter, you need to own a base, introduce NFT, which you will have if you follow these steps I showed you. And base and optimistic, you need to own the base and optimistic NFT, which you can see on the Explorer and do that. So that's how you would do it with the um, guild.xyz. And if you go over here, you'd also just need to log in and follow the various steps. And here you'll need to find your wallet, mint the bridge to base NFT and follow them as well. So you can see the various steps you need to do. And it's actually quite straightforward uh, to farm this airdrop comparing to the other ones. There's not so many tasks. And keep in mind the chances of it actually having a token are not confirmed. Although it would be great if they did it and I think it would be wise, but that's left to be seen. So hopefully this video helped you guys. It's a quite a quick one, just covering all the steps. Would always appreciate if you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, leave a comment, follow me on Telegram and Twitter, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.